Good morning. I'm so happy you're here. My name's Kelly Smith, and I'm the director of Kids Creek Early Care and Education. We are so excited to be back in the swing of things with all of our preschoolers, and our full infant and toddler room has been amazing. We are learning about Jesus and having a wonderful year with such an amazing staff. Who are we, God, that you even consider us? And yet you love us so much. You know everything we think, everything we feel, and we matter to you. That's amazing. Jesus, we owe, we owe everything to you. You've given us so much love. And you've saved us. And we can't earn it. We certainly don't deserve it. It's a leopard. Stay back. Cover your mouth. Don't breathe his air. Don't come any closer. It's okay, John. It's okay. Rabbi, 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 you can't handle this disease. You Please. Please. Please don't turn away from me. I won't. Lord, if you are willing, you can make me clean. Only if you want to, I submit to you. My sister, she was a servant at the wedding. She told me what you could do. I know you can heal me if you are willing. I am willing. <laughs> Be cleansed. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. What can I, what can I ever do? No. Do not say anything to anyone. You don't seek your own honor. Please just do me this one thing. But what do I tell people? Go. Show yourself to the priest. Let them inspect you and see that you are cleansed. Make the proper offering in the temple as Moses commanded. And go on your way. Who has an extra tunic? Just one of you, just one of you. That's enough. Definitely your color. Oh. <laughs> Not too shabby. Uh. 
I hope you know my heart, folks. I love Jesus with everything in me, and I'm grieved that people don't know Jesus. And what I do is just, what can we do to help somebody know Jesus? Um, <laughs> thank you, David. <laughs> what is our response to God when God touches our heart, He touches our life? Is it to then serve? Is it to then do something like, God, thank you for what you've done. I want to serve you and others. So very early in the morning, while it was still dark, Jesus got up, left the house, and went off to a solitary place where he prayed. There's the connection with his father that's so precious. Simon and his companions went to look for him, and when they found him, they explained, everyone is looking for you. Now, why would everyone be looking for you? Because they wanted more. They wanted to see more. They wanted to experience more. They had more sick. They wanted more from Jesus. But listen to Jesus' response. Let's go somewhere else. Isn't that a weird response? Let's go somewhere else. I know they're looking for it. Let's go somewhere else. Why? Here's the why to the nearby villages so I can preach there also. That is why I have come. Folks, if you're unsure about the mission of the church, it's right there. To get the message of Christ out. To live our lives in such a way that people, it brings, if you will, um, strength, because they see what we're doing, they hear what we're saying, they see what we're doing, and they see consistency. It's why we're doing these community ministries, because the community ministries in and of themselves sometimes reach into people's lives like nothing else will, and then we get to have share the message of Christ, and other times it's we're sharing the message of Christ and what we're doing is backing it up so that they understand that our actions and our words are consistent with the message of Christ. It has to be about Jesus. It has to be entirely about Jesus. A man with leprosy came to him and begged him on his knees, if you're willing, you can make me clean. Jesus was indignant. He reached out his hand and touched the man. I am willing, he said, be clean. Immediately the leprosy left him and he was cleansed. He approached him, but he did more than that. See, he touched the unclean to make him clean. Do you understand that's what God does to us? He reaches into our very hearts and says, you're clean. You couldn't do this, but I could. And I would tell you, keep focusing on Jesus. Keep your eyes fixed on him. Keep your eyes fixed on the cross and don't let noise distract you. Keep your eyes focused on the cross because that's where your salvation lies. Let's focus on that lost person, that person who doesn't yet know Jesus. Let's focus and, and direct our prayers to intercede for those who are without Christ so that they might be touched by Christ and declared clean that's what matters. More than anything else, that's what matters. The rest is just a distraction. This is about you coming into our broken world to save sinners like us. We don't deserve your grace. We don't deserve your love. Bless us in our message. Bless us in our mission of reaching one more life with you. Your name it is. Nothing compares to the